Yep. Um, <laughs> big transition in today's video. As you guys can see, the car is in a different garage. If you guys haven't watched any of the videos on the personal channel, then this video might come as a complete shock. Now, if you've seen the videos on the personal channel already, some of the things in today's upload might get a little repetitive, but uh, uh, it's a big life change. So we're actually gonna close the garage. A lot of noise outside. So yeah, here we are, my new uh, home. <laughs> I know this is very weird for uh, people that, uh, again, haven't uh, watched the previous uploads on the previous channel where I've uh, discussed more in detail of uh, uh, what's going on in my personal life um, which and also why it's been you know I guess almost two weeks since an upload here on the main channel but uh, if you guys want more in detail you can check those videos out I'll link them in the description anyhow I live in a different place now and this is the garage and as you guys can see it is pretty much a four or five depending on how you squeeze it almost six car garage but only this lane right here belongs to me. These lanes belong to another tenant that is pretty much never here. So these always sit empty, but technically I'm not allowed to park here. And this lane right here belongs to my buddy and my neighbor, Chris, who's at work currently. So uh, there's no car sitting here right now, although there usually is. As you guys can also see is that the R7 is not here yet. It's still sitting over at the house. But eventually I'm gonna to try to squeeze both of those cars in here. It'll be tight because of this, you know, the garage door opening, you know, looks like it fits two cars at the same time kind of thing getting in and out, but it doesn't. The lanes are wider than the actual garage door opening. I don't have all my stuff here yet from my uh, old garage, but uh, they will be here uh, eventually. So as you guys can see by the title, um, I haven't, you know, I, I didn't want to title this video as some kind of like, you know, relationship type of change or whatever. I don't know, I, I didn't feel like I wanted to, I mean, what, what's the correct wording? Like milk that on this channel or, or try to use it for views or whatever because it's not you know a situation that I really want to be in it just is what it is we've decided to separate there's no bad blood there's no, no craziness or anything like that but uh, yeah I, I don't live over at that house anymore and it is a pretty day oh wow these windows are really dirty <laughs> look at these spider webs and stuff it is a pretty day out in Pittsburgh today it's sunny and all but it is winter so it is pretty freaking cold uh, I managed to wash the car up for the first time uh, in the new location here yesterday. Uh, it looked like absolute garbage. It's been a lot of rain and so on. Uh, but yeah, this is the new home for the S65 and also uh, the RS7 here eventually. So we're gonna go downstairs, take a quick look at the pad. And by the way, there's another little mod coming for the 65. We have a new diffuser here. It's just been a crazy time, so I haven't even had time to really get that installed but it, it's coming all right here we are uh, my new apartment which is pretty much uh, I guess you could say under construction not that there's a bunch of construction going on right now but you know I, I'm getting furniture and so on and again I've already done like an apartment tour and stuff on the personal channel so I'm not gonna get like do a full tour in today's video if you're interested in that Again, you can go and check out the personal channel if you want to see more of that. But we are, however, standing right here by the uh, balcony, and this is kind of where the intro started. So um, it definitely has a nice view of all of Pittsburgh. We got Acrisure Stadium, uh, formerly Heinz Field, the home of the Steelers. We got PNC Park over there. We got the skyline over here, and then uh, a big old balcony over here wrapping around to the two bedrooms and so on. So yeah, this is the new uh, living quarters for yours truly. Not as energetic, um, kind of, you know, an upbeat, as I'm sure you can notice, uh, because it is a, a big transition, personally, for me in life. I mean, yeah, I don't really know how to put proper words to uh, to, to describe everything, but 
uh, it's a transition for sure. Now with that being said, that doesn't mean that I'm never over at the house. I'm pretty much over there every other day. We still have the dogs together and stuff. So I mean, that kind of also explains why the, the previous upload on this channel was, you know, filmed in the driveway when I <laughs> messed up the whole R7 thing. Um, R7 is fine, by the way, it's drivable, all that stuff, it still needs fixed though. But yeah, so it, it's not like I'm completely separated from Heather and Sydney, but the situation has definitely changed. And what I've noticed is when you're a full-time YouTuber and your job is to make videos, uh, entertain people pretty much, uh, which is, you know, mainly what I do on this channel, I would say, uh, you know, when, when you go through some, some tougher times, it's hard to make videos because, you know, you're not in the, the, the right mind frame and you're not the happy-go-lucky that, you know, I want to be when I'm in front of the camera. Um, so that explains kind of the, the lapse in uploads and I hope you guys have understanding for that. Um, I want everything to, to change when it comes to that and everything starts flowing naturally again. And, uh, cause I, you know, I love what I do. I really do, but life happens sometimes and it just, it is what it is. I mean, I have the personal channel where I've talked again more in depth about the stuff and I guess I feel a little freer there to be able to make videos like this because on this channel I want it to be obviously car <laughs> related not talk about stuff like this all the time even though I have mentioned the personal stuff uh, before on this channel before I even had the other channel but it, you know many times it feels like you're not allowed to have a bad day because your audience will notice that and uh, I know that you guys care about me and stuff and I you know I really appreciate that but in the long run people don't want to sit and listen to your problems and stuff because people have their own problems and that's just how it works I want this channel to to be you know a fun channel where I do fun stuff with cars um, and so on so that's why I've been, you know, uploading more on the personal channel lately than I have on this one here. And this upload is kind of just like an update video as well. I can drag it out longer and like do a tour of the apartment. I feel like I'm just repeating what I've already done on the other channel. The reason why I'm actually making an update video on this channel is because I know that many people don't even watch the other channel. I feel like I'm mentioning the other channel all the time, but yeah. Uh, and you know, you guys are my audience, you, you deserve an update and here it is because I, I can't just start making, you know, because I always start my videos, the old videos at the old house, like in the garage and I can't just start making videos at another place and not explain why. So that, that's kind of why I, I'm, I'm doing this upload here just to, to let the people know that don't follow me on the personal channel, what is going on and kind of why I've been absent. So, yeah. So we're back in the garage. Uh, my buddy Chris is back. So this is his Jeep. Um, and we kind of share, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, these two spots right here. But I bought the S65 in May. And now it's December, so I've had it for about six months. I've put 7,000 miles on the car so far. And it, it's been good for, you know, a V12 Mercedes. I've had a lot of AMGs, the bi-turbo engines. The NA engines, but this is obviously, as you guys know, my first V12. But the engine seems, you know, pretty bulletproof so far. It's only 7,000 miles in, but um, I've also learned to not like certain features on the car. So eventually we'll have a video coming here, as I always do with every car, uh, things that I do not like. But I know this video uh, was kind of like an update video, and it's also a little shorter. I'll be back in the swing of things here soon. Um, thanks for always sticking with me. This is definitely the biggest transition ever in the history of the channel. You know, I've always been with them the whole time that we've made videos, uh, integrated them in videos before. They haven't really been a, that big of a part, you know, in the past couple of years. And that, that's mainly like, you know, Sydney's growing up and stuff. She's becoming a teenager. Uh, she didn't think it was as fun and cool to be in the videos anymore, which is completely understandable. You know, most of the times I had like kind of forced my wife to be in the video. She didn't really like it all that much, although she was a good sport. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so this is a big change. Um, you guys will just come along on the journey, really. You know, I'm taking it day by day um, and you guys kind of do it with me. So uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for always sticking with me. Uh, like I said, I'll be back soon. See you next time.